Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is nothing but some highlights of this week. As you know, we celebrated Ganesh Chaturthi at our house. So I thought of sharing with you the preparation before and on the day of Ganesh Chaturthi and a simple dinner preparation. Hope you all enjoy it. So stay tuned. So my Monday started as usual with office and followed by making of Ganesha Murti. This is the second time we are celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi in our home in Belgium and this time I wanted to make an, an eco-friendly murti at home. So the clay I am using is all natural and can be air dried. This is something I bought online. This was the first time I was making anything like this. I tried following different tutorials in YouTube uh, to understand how to make figures out of clay and they really helped me a lot. I have not made any explanatory video of the whole process as this was indeed a first attempt and there were multiple trial and errors as you can see. everything went well. I struggled while shaping the trunk and ears. <laughs> elements and also some details here and there as you can see I used this wet sponge to smoothen the surface creating the mushak was the best part of it and I thoroughly enjoyed I gave some final touches with needle and it was ready I made sure that there are no cracks on the surface and the back is well supported so I added little more clay at the back. We were so happy with the outcome I was glad that I at least tried. Once this was done I let it dry. Then it was time to prepare some dinner. As I was really exhausted, I prepared a simple dinner while my husband helped in cleaning up. I had to use up the spinach that was left in my fridge. So I went ahead to prepare a spinach butternut squash curry with moong dal and roti. For the curry, I started by dry roasting the lentils or the moong dal. Once it emit a nice nutty aroma, I put it out in a bowl and washed it thoroughly. On the same pan, I added around 1 tablespoon of sunflower oil or you can also use mustard oil and some pachforon. Pachforon is nothing but a mix of 5 whole spices. I will leave the details in the description box for those who don't know. I also added green chilies. After sauteing a bit, I added cubed squash, some carrots. I also had some boiled potatoes left over. Since those were already boiled, so I added it later. If you are using it raw, so you can add it together with the squash and carrots. You can add any vegetables of your choice. Uh, but root vegetables go really well in this curry. After stirring everything, I let it cook for a minute or two. I added salt, turmeric powder, coriander powder. These were basically all the 
brown spices that I used. I also added some sugar and very little chilli powder. If you don't have butternut squash then this can be made like very easily with pumpkin. To it I added little bit of warm water so that they don't burn. As the squash and the carrots have their own sweetness so adding sugar will help in improvising the taste and it will definitely enhance the flavour. I have added very little chilli powder, you can anyway skip it. The heat will basically come from the green chillies that we added and also the ginger that we are going to add later on. Once the raw smell of masalas is gone, we can go ahead and add the ginger. After mixing thoroughly, I added the washed and drained spinach. These were baby spinach so I didn't chop them. Mix them thoroughly and I added the lentils. After mixing properly again, I added warm water, enough for the vegetables to cook. Make sure to have the lid on at this point of time so that the vegetables can cook thoroughly and retain their flavors. Keep the flame on low to medium. And in the interim I started preparing the rotis. I already had the dough made up so I just went ahead and started rolling it. In case you want to have the detailed measurements of the ingredients in the curry, you can also check in the description box. my vegetable or the curry is now well cooked you can see everything is cooked properly the gravy has thickened and also the lentils are cooked but they are intact this is what we wanted so this is almost done you can anyway check the salt and add if necessary you can also finish this curry with a little bit of ghee It's already the day of Ganesh Chaturthi. The morning was lovely and it was so nice to wake up early and do the preparation. I already had done some preparation the night before like washing everything and just keeping everything nearby and accessible so that it's easier to work with. I decked up the house a little bit like added mango leaves, also made a quick rangoli and added some candles here and there.
all puja utensils were already washed and kept for drying the mandir was cleaned and decorated both of us had office on that day and so we had to really rush and i could not really shoot anything while preparing food or during puja them or offering there were three types of modaks some traditional sweets fruits and bhog i made a typical bengali bhog thali like moong dal khichdi five types of fries raw mango chutney kheer and pati shapta coconut shira and kesari bath so this was all i hope bappa blesses you all with health happiness and prosperity I'm glad that I could share this little arrangement of ours with all you guys. I hope you like it and do mention in the comments how you celebrate it. Till next time, goodbye and stay blessed.